The power to transform our world into a much better place lies within the very heart of every man, woman, and child. Most people accept the path in life that they were taught to believe is their destiny by their parents, friends, and what society dictates is opportune for them, defining themselves adequately, only to fit into their environment, without even questioning if it's what they truly believe is right for them. Unaware of their raw potential, they are stripped of their true identity and submit unknowingly to the will of their outer environment. Veronica Roth's book and movie series Divergent reflects a reality that is much closer to home than most realize. What many people have yet to discover is that we are all born into this world with an infinite power to create our own reality, a source of pure unequivocal potential with the ability to transform any given situation into something inestimable. Each one of us possesses all the elements of the five factions of life described in Divergent, but unless we learn to abandon the labels and the beliefs we have chosen to accept, we will continue to be enslaved into a system that dictates who it thinks we ought to be. To become fully divergent again, you must learn the values that lie within you, that connect you to who you truly are. Intuitive, kind, honest, selfless, and brave. If we take a step back and view this world like a giant simulation playground, we would come to the understanding that this world could be our training ground, and we are here to learn and master all the factions of life. In this highly exhilarating series, the story takes place in a futuristic city of dystopian Chicago. The ones who control these factions call themselves the purebloods. They do not consider themselves as equals and look upon everyone else as damaged. The so-called purebloods ran an experiment on its people, dividing them into factions and creating a wall to keep them enslaved in an attempt to annihilate any trace of who they really are and what their purpose is. This experiment almost destroyed them all. This is very similar to what we the human race must face on this planet today and has been like this for a very long time. We are born into a society that maneuvers us into categories, and unknown to most, are governed by an elite bloodline who have the power to manipulate the world according to their own agenda. In the Divergent book and film trilogy, the factions are societal divisions that classify citizens based on their virtues. The factions are Erudite, the smart ones the ones who value knowledge and logic. Amity, they farm the land. They're all about kindness and harmony, always happy. Candor, they value honesty and order. They tell the truth even when you wish they wouldn't. Abnegation, those who live a simple life, selfless and dedicated to helping others. Dauntless, they are our protectors, our soldiers, our police, brave, fearless, and free. The remaining population are the factionless, those who have no status or privilege in this society. And last but not least come the rare divergents, those who possess all the five faction elements. The main character, Beatrice Pryor, Tris learns that she is divergent. In other words, she doesn't fit into any one group because she possesses all the five faction elements. This leads her to becoming a target by the so-called purebloods, very similar to those who are fully awake today. What do I mean by being awake? We all suffer from amnesia, a kind of sleeping awake as we venture through this journey of life, trying to figure out what it is about and why we are here. Those who awaken from their slumber are the ones that discover that, just like Triss and Divergent, they cannot be put into a category, as they can be any one of their choosing, and so, they too possess all the five factions. Intuitiveness, Kindness, Honesty, Selflessness, and Bravery. Most people are so wrapped up in their lives, they forget to ask the most important questions, but the answer they are searching for lies where they never thought to look. Instead of looking on the outside, go within yourself, 
For the raw truth is, the answer to everything is you. Each one of us is born divergent, but we can only discover this profound truth when we do the work required from within ourselves. For example, intuition knows very well not to believe everything that passes through the mind. Kindness knows no boundaries, nor the time of day. Honesty has integrity, enough to uphold their truth at all times, without exception. Selflessness, profound understanding of belonging and oneness. Bravery, they will face their deepest truths without holding back and without fear. Those who are awake are able to see beyond the veil of illusion. They swiftly come to the realization that the world and its people are in dire need of help. The way I see it, those who are fully awake are the chosen ones. The ones who will fight for truth and justice till the very end. The ones who believe in their hearts that the world will be a better place once we expose all the lies, manipulation tactics, and until all who choose to be corrupt and evil are brought to full justice. Life is actually very similar to the plot of the Divergent series. Everything is divided into categories, and most importantly, people are divided into categories. We all live in different countries, dividing us by borders. We speak 6,500 different languages all over the world. Our social status divides us. Our personalities divide us. Apparently, even the color of our skin divides us. The rich, middle class, and poor are all divided into categories. We are put under these categories by our controllers, the so-called purebloods, the people in power that make most of the decisions for us, leading us in the wrong direction on purpose. By controlling all the major decisions we require to survive is how they do just that, leaving almost all of us dependent on our governments and those who run the program. They control our media, the justice system, schools, and pretty much everything else you could think of. Most of us are led to believe by our loved ones, friends and teachers, who probably have the best intentions for us, that we will most likely never achieve our dreams or goals. Remember, people can only give you good advice based on their own experience and achievements. Never take advice from someone who hasn't achieved the goal that you are pushing for, but instead, search for those who have. Learn to filter out the ones who don't value themselves fully. The reality is that we all have choices of who or what we would like to be on this earth, and our inner world reflects on the outside. The more we help others to discover their truth, the more we will be helping our planet. Now is the time we must wake up and do what is right to ensure that we thrive as a human race, but to also open our eyes to the beauty of our world and what we have done to it. If we heal ourselves, we can begin to heal our beautiful planet and recreate a world where all of its inhabitants live in harmony and we can experience for the first time heaven on earth. The choice is yours. Either continue your path and forget what you just read and know is true, or you choose to stand up for what is right and begin your journey into the depths of the extraordinary human being that is you.